Those who know do not talk. Those who talk do not know. Keep your mouth closed. Guard your senses. Temper your sharpness. Simplify your problems. Mask your brightness. Be at one with the dust of the earth. This is primal union. He who has achieved this state is unconcerned with friends and enemies, with good and harm, with honor and disgrace. This, therefore, is the highest state of man. Rule a nation with justice. Wage war with surprise moves. Become a master of the universe without striving. How do I know that this is so? Because of this. The more laws and restrictions there are, the poorer people become, the sharper men's weapons, the more trouble in the land. The more ingenious and clever men are, the more strange things happen, the more rules and regulations, the more thieves and robbers. Therefore, the sage says, I take no action and people are reformed. I enjoy peace and people become honest. I do nothing and people become rich. I have no desires and people return to the good and simple life. When the country is ruled, with a light hand, the people are simple. When the country is ruled with severity, the people are cunning. Happiness is rooted in misery. Misery lurks beneath happiness. Who knows what the future holds? There is no honesty. Honesty becomes dishonest. Goodness becomes witchcraft. Man's bewitchment lasts for a long time. Therefore, the sage is sharp, but not cutting. Pointed, but not piercing. Straightforward, but not unrestrained. Brilliant, but not blinding. In caring for others and serving heaven, there is nothing like using restraint. Restraint begins with giving up one's own ideas. This depends on virtue gathered in the past. If there is a good store of virtue, then nothing is impossible. If nothing is impossible, then there are no limits. If a man knows no limits, then he is fit to be a ruler. The mother principle of ruling holds good for a long time. This is called having deep roots in a firm foundation. The Tao of long life and eternal vision. Ruling the country is like cooking a small fish. Approach the universe with Tao, and evil will have no power. 
Not that evil is not powerful, but its power will not be used to harm others. Not only will it do no harm to others, but the sage himself will also be protected. They do not hurt each other, and the virtue in each one refreshes both. A great country is like low land. It is the meeting ground of the universe, the mother of the universe. The yin overcomes the yang with stillness, lying low and laying back in stillness. Therefore, if a great country gives way to a smaller country, it will conquer the smaller country. And if a small country submits to a great country, it can conquer the great country. Therefore, those who would conquer must yield, and those who conquer do so because they yield. A great nation needs more people. A small country needs to serve. Each gets what it wants. It is fitting for the great nation to yield. Tao is the source of the ten thousand things. It is the treasure of the good man and the refuge of the bad. Sweet words can buy honor. Good deeds can gain respect. If a man is bad, do not abandon him. Therefore, on the day the emperor is crowned, or the three officers of state installed, do not send a gift of jade and a team of four horses, but remain still and offer the Tao. Why does everyone like the Tao so much at first? Isn't it because you find what you seek and are forgiven when you sin? Therefore, this is the greatest treasure of the universe. Tao is the source of all things. Everybody uses it, but most are unaware. If you wish to know the great Tao, the greatest treasure of human life, then you must die to it. The paradox of the Tao is that in every yin there is the yang, in every death there is life, and in every life there is death. Lay down completely that you might realize the Tao. Practice non-action. Work without doing. Taste the tasteless. Magnify the small. Increase the few. Reward bitterness with care. See simplicity in the complicated. Achieve greatness in little things. In the universe, the difficult things are done as if they are easy. In the universe, great acts are made up of small deeds. The sage does not attempt anything very big and thus achieves greatness. Easy promises make for little trust. Taking things lightly results in great difficulty. Because the sage always confronts difficulties, he never experiences them. Peace is easily maintained. Trouble is easily overcome before it starts. The brittle is easily shattered. The small is easily scattered. 
deal with it before it happens. Set things in order before there is confusion. A tree as great as man's embrace springs from a small shoot. A terrace nine stories high begins with a pile of earth. A journey of a thousand miles starts under one's feet. He who acts defeats his own purpose. He who grasps loses. The sage does not act, and so is not defeated. He does not grasp, and therefore does not lose. People usually fail when they are on the verge of success. So give as much care to the end as to the beginning. Then there will be no failure. Therefore, the sage seeks freedom from desire. He does not collect precious things. He learns not to hold on to ideas. He brings men back to what they have lost. He helps the ten thousand things find their own nature, but refrains from action. In the beginning, those who knew the Tao did not try to enlighten others, but kept them in the dark. Why is it so hard to rule? Because people are so clever. Rulers who try to use cleverness cheat the country. Those who rule without cleverness are a blessing to the land. These are the two alternatives. Understanding these is primal virtue. Primal virtue is deep and far. It leads all things back toward the great oneness.